one of the Good Fridays I remember as a child is my home parish priest, and he began with this sentence, Today Jesus died. I don't remember the rest of his homily because his phrase, his phrase was so stark and scary for any elementary school kid to hear. I realize today that the trial that led up to Jesus' death is most interesting. It's about authenticity, being true to oneself and being true to who you are. The words of Christ today are, I am. Jesus does, uh, he keeps himself true to this open communication, honest communication. He asks, he says, and Ask those who heard me. Nothing is in hiding. The question was, are you Jesus the Nazarene? And Christ responds, I am. Peter does something peculiar. He says, I am not, contrary to the I am. Peter says, I am not. Another person to say this was John the Baptist. But this was because he was being honest. The question to John, uh, John the Baptist was, are you the Messiah? He responds, I am not. Are you Elijah? I am not. His honest answer was, I am the one preparing the way of the Lord. Tonight, Peter says, I am not, but for very different reasons. Peter is denying that he is a disciple of Christ. He is denying that he followed Christ. Peter is frightened and scared. And you know what? It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be frightened. It's okay to be terrified. Because we are human. You know what the difference between Judas and Peter was? One was betrayed. Peter is not a betrayer. He's simply human. When Judas betrayed Christ, that was the end of the road. But Peter still has a second chance. Peter, our rock and leader of this church, is displayed like a scared little boy. And that's okay. As St. Augustine says, the mistakes of the disciples gives us confidence. If the disciples were displayed as perfect, like many of our earthly heroes uh, that are portrayed, then the question is, how can we relate to them? Peter was afraid because he didn't know strength yet. He was still being groomed. He had to learn inner strength. He had to learn courage. Christ could say I am in front of accusations and blame because he was the embodiment of holy courage, of holy strength. And so my brothers and sisters, if you are afraid, if you feel terrified, then ask God. Ask God for strength. Ask God for courage. God wants us to ask. By asking, we believe. And by believing, we are given that strength. We are like Peter in so many ways. We still do have a second chance. We're still, we'll, we are still learning to have that inner strength, to have that courage. And God will grant it to us. All we have to do is ask.